This week on Big Red's Cooking, we dice carrots. Hi, and welcome back to Big Red's Cooking. As always, I'm Big Red. So I'm here with another Technical Tuesday video for you. I thought I'd keep it simple. Uh, I've already done a video about dicing onion. I've done a video about dicing peppers. I thought today I'd do a video on dicing carrot. You know, and again, this is a pretty common uh, task that a lot of people have to do, whether you're making, you know, a soup, for example, or you're doing vegetables for a side dish or whatnot. And just like anything else, there's, you know, tough ways and there's easier ways of doing it. So I thought I'd, you know, offer a little bit of my professional help to you and show you how to dice a carrot and hopefully make it a little bit easier for you. Now you might be thinking, what's the big deal? You know, it's just sort of chopping it up. But again, one of the things that we sort of strive to our students or to my students is the importance of having those consistent sizes. Part of the reason for that is that when you have vegetables that are cut to different sizes, they're gonna to cook to different ways when you cook them for the same amount of time. So if you're making a stew or a soup or something of the sort, and you got a small piece of carrot and a big piece of carrot in there, they're gonna end up having different textures. Now, I'm gonna guess most of the people watching this video have probably have had a can of Campbell's soup, say for example, through the years. And if you think about it, every piece of carrot in there is pretty much the same size. Now you're never gonna end up with perfect dice when you're doing it by hand. And the fact is, is the carrot is tapered. So unless we end up with a lot of wastage, well then we're gonna have some odd pieces. But really what we wanna strive for is as consistent as possible. But also we wanna be able to do this as safely as possible. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see if I can show you a few little tips and tricks that might make it easier. Now, as always, and I've talked about it before in videos, I've got my Y-shaped peeler. I find these to be the best in the world. Uh, I've, I've got another one just like this that I got for a Christmas gift in 2006 and it still works incredibly well. I just find it much easier to work with uh, and it tends just to give a really nice peel. So. As always, let's get our, you know, I like to save my vegetable scrap for my compost pile. Hmm. And a live on there. Let me just take our ends off our carrots. Oh, there's my dog, he loves carrots. I'll usually give him the tips. And there's dog number two. Let's go for a little piece as well. All right, so when we're doing a dice, what we wanna do, and again, we've got this carrot that's round that's gonna be rolling all over the place and it can be difficult and dangerous to cut something like that. So what we wanna do is we're gonna take our first piece off and we're gonna take it off about the width that we want our carrot. And what we want to do is that we want to think about how wide it is at that top point. So right there is sort of what I want to be going for. So I'm just going to make that first initial slice right on down through and I'm just going to push that. Now I've got this nice piece that's sitting here flat and what I can do is I can take the rest of my strips off at about the same width. Now we've got a bunch of flat strips here. And what I can do is now I can cut these into lengths without too much issue. So if I was doing wings or something of the sort, now I've got perfect carrot sticks. And again, so once I now have my carrot sticks done up, what I can do I can do that nice simple dice. Now again, like I said, we've got some of those tapered off pieces and that's okay. But 
for the most part, I've got a bunch of dice here that's all the same size. So again, let's do another one here. So I'm going to take that first slice off, put that one to the side so that we have that nice flat piece of carrot. And again, cut some nice flat pieces. And now we can take those flat pieces. Turn those into some nice sticks. And now we can take our sticks. And again, don't forget about that grip. And again, if you haven't watched that grip video, go ahead and look at that. Get those fingertips curled in underneath. You don't want to be taking the tops of your fingertips off. And there we go. You know, now we've got a nice quick pile of diced carrots. You know, I could throw this into a soup. I could throw it in a pot of water, toss in a few peas with it. Lots we can do with this. So there you have it. You know, there's nothing too much to this. You can see it's pretty straightforward. I'm hoping this will help some of you out, help you to improve your cooking technique, make it a little bit easier for you, make your food a little bit better next time a little bit more pride into it you know so maybe someone will notice how nice your dices are as always I want to thank you for watching the video my dog you probably just heard that little whine he wants some of these diced carrots so I'm gonna say goodbye for now I hope to see you back again soon as always if you've enjoyed this video please go ahead and like it please share it hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that yet and I think I'm pointing at this right. I'm hoping I'm going to do this correctly anyhow. I'm going to try and embed a, uh, embed a subscribe button into this. Uh, and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.